Two motorcycles. One is a 620, I'm talking about engine size, and I can handle a 620. And when a, a 620 is a smaller bike, and I can rev the shit out of it, and I drive it really hard, right? So it's like maximum output. The other motorcycle, an 1100. So it's a bigger bike. It's intimidating, huge engine, and uh, I'll probably never use what it's capable of, of uh, uh, the output that, it, that it's capable of producing. So, which would I rather have? Do I want a bike that I know has the, all this potential, right? But I'm not going to drive uh, 150 miles an hour, so I will never use it. So I ride it a little bit with fear. Or do I ride the 620 where I have con uh, I'm very comfortable with it. I don't want to say control, but I'm very, I'm very comfortable with it. And I ride it hard. I'm redlining it um, using all its output, what it's designed to produce. It's out there. I don't know about you. I would take the 620 because uh, just the way that I am, I, I like getting the most out of everything. I don't like wasting things. Uh, even when it comes down to motorcycles. And I know some people would say, you know what, why not get the bigger bike and um, you'll always have that, you know, under your, uh, in between your legs in case you need it. No, I'd rather have the 620 and have uh, fun with it and, and rev the shit out of it and, and all that. What the hell am I talking about? Well, that's the way I'm wired, and so if you apply that to relationships, um, I tend to ride the shit out of relationships, if that makes any sense. I tend to get the most out of it. I tend to maneuver in relationships, um, redlining at 7,000 RPMs. And this kind of goes back to my whole thing about loving hard and what that means. I know you guys are all perverts, so you're thinking on a sexual level. Can be. Uh, okay, but I'm talking about um, all parts of relationships. I'm talking about, for example, if you want to be thoughtful, redline that. Be thoughtful. Be thoughtful in ways that you've never have before. You know, explore that. Flip that on its head. How can you challenge yourself instead of doing your usual routine of, uh, or your usual definition of thoughtful? Because that would be the 1100 bike cruising, knowing uh, that you have more output, but being in cruise control. I fucking hate cruise control. Cruise control makes no sense. Cruise take a train, get on a bus then. Um, sorry. <laughs> if you want to talk about uh, forgiveness, if you want to talk about being kind, if you want to talk about sex, whatever it is, in there, everything that all the components of a relationship. Redline it. Write it hard. Maximum output. Everything that you got, everything that you know you can give, stretch that and push past that and see what you can do. You know? And I think that's when you're going to have the most fun. Because if you cruise your relationships, if you decide to get the 1100 with the big engine, but you're afraid of it, and you're afraid to take turns, uh, corners, and you're not going to get the most out of that bike. So get into a relationship where you could ride the shit out of it. And I don't know what that means to you. I know what it means to me. I don't know what it means to you. Uh, find a person that, that is worthy of that, and you will get the most out of your relationship.